Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to create a data validation in Microsoft Excel. I have a data range here that runs from A1 to I34. I want to analyze the data by state. So if you notice, I'm going to right click on a state and do a sort. So this is a shared file and someone has put in the states, most of them with two letters, which is what I want. But somebody came along and did three letters in a period, and they spelled out California. Same thing with Georgia and New York. So if you want to fix this, here's one way to do it before I show you the data validation. I'm going to highlight column E and copy it, and then just paste it somewhere else. Go to the Data tab up top, Remove Duplicates, click OK, click OK. So now I know at least what was the bad information typed in. And then if you wanted to fix this, I could select column E and do control H, which is replace, find what, I typed in CAL period, replace it with CA, replace all, hit OK. I could keep running through here, do and find and replace. If you're a mouse person, find and replace is on the home tab. Under the editing group, you click replace, same as control H. Now another way to fix it is once you got them sorted, you could obviously autofill them down. So I'm just showing you a couple ways to fix this. Uh, I'm going to leave this alone now. So let me show you what a data validation does because it would keep the bad data from being put in. And the reason you don't want the bad data is if you have bad data, uh, the following items don't work correctly. Filters, advanced filters, database functions, subtotals, pivot tables. So let's make sure we don't put in bad data. So here I have an employee spreadsheet. I have the last name, the first name, and I want to put in the state they're in and then their department. So I'm going to go to a worksheet I called drop down list. You can name this anything you want. I put in all 50 states in column A. I'm going to simply click on A2. Notice I didn't pick up A1. And I'm going to select down to A51, so that's 50 states. Hit the name box here and name it states. That's called a named range. So now if I click anywhere else, hit this drop down and hit states, it selects it. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Highlight the departments, drop down. You can name this whatever you want. You just can't have spaces in the name. I'm going to just name this one DEPT. So now, on this spreadsheet where we're going to put in all our information, you select where people are going to type. I'm going to just stop right there. Click on the Data tab at the top. Click Data Validation. Right now I can type in any value, make it a list. And in your source box equals, you can reference that named range you made, equals states. Click OK. So now when people come in here, you can either type in the state correctly or you can just simply use the drop down arrow and pick one. If you type in something that doesn't exist, you get an error message because you broke your data validation rule. So one more time, I'm going to highlight the departments, data validation, let's make it a list, equals DEPT, hit OK, and then just test it. And it's working. I do want to talk about one more thing before I'm done with this. Right over here, A1 to I-34 is a data range. And you can right click and do a sort A to Z because there are no blank columns. So that's how you can right click and it's sorting everything, not just last name, it's keeping everything together. When you make your data validation list, I'm on the worksheet where I put those. Notice I do have blank columns here. This is when you do want blank columns because I might want to sort by manager if I had a data validation for manager, but I don't want it to change department or states. 
So I actually have three data ranges here. This is one time you do put in blank columns. But back on this spreadsheet, if I go put a blank column here for some reason, maybe for printing reasons, I have two data ranges. So if I sort over here, it may not pick up the uh, respective fields over here. So on your data ranges, on your worksheet, put in blank columns to keep them separated. But your actual data, no blank columns. Hopefully that helps with creating a data validation list. Thank you.